We have three conditions that need to be met in order for all this stuff to work out in terms of the chi-squared goodness of fit test. One of which is like we always see, the data must come from a random sample. The second is something we saw before. If we remember when estimating a single proportion for a hypothesis test, we had conditions such as n pi is greater than or equal to 10 and n times one minus pi is greater than or equal to 10. We can think of this as a success, and we can think of this as a failure. Now we're dealing with multiple categories. So essentially what we'll have is n times the hypothesized value for each needs to be 10. Our second one needs to be 10, our second hypothesized proportion, and that needs to be true for all of our groups up until our last group. All of our expected frequencies need to be at least 10. This is essentially for our central limit theorem. But again, now we're doing this for multiple groups. And lastly, each observation can only fall into one category. So for instance, we can't have a family from our last problem fall into a high income family and a middle income family. You can't fall into more than one category. Each observation can only be in one and in one group only. If these three conditions are met, then we're ready to rock and roll for our chi-squared goodness of fit tests.